Alrighty, we've showed you how to read in files, and that's all well and good, but you will encounter times in your use of Python where you want to save something to your hard disk and make it permanent. And there are, once again, many ways to accomplish the things we want to accomplish, but in this particular case, we're going to look at the simple scenario of writing a text file. So we're going to save a text file to the hard drive using some methods that are built into Python. Let's learn how to write. Alrighty, so in order to write a file, we might as well have something to put in it. So I've got a simple list here called my text. It says, I love my bring and back, which is a five item list. We can look at it in here, not too complicated. So in order to write a file, we have to open a connection to said file. You should be relatively familiar with this. So let's just call this out file equals, and then we're gonna open, which is that method we used, same thing as reading, and we'll give it the path to the file. So. We're just going to put it up on the desktop again. And we'll go ahead and call this one output.text. So if I try to open that file path there, make sure it's a string, I'll get an error right away. And it'll say, oh, no such file or directory. Now we'd like it to create the file. And in order to make sure that it does that, we'll give it permission to write. And you do that with the open command by tacking on an extra parameter. So the first argument you're going to pass open is the path. You'll put a comma and then put the second argument, which is going to be a string again. And we're going to give it permission W, which is to say to write. All right, you can also use R there for read, but we're going to give it W to write. And this time when we execute the command, we get no lip from the interpreter. It doesn't tell us we can't, don't get an error. And if we take a look over here, we'll see we have a file output, which is empty. Not much going on there. Okay, not too complicated. The next thing that we're going to do in order to get content into that file is to go ahead and use out file. There's a method for open connections called write lines. And we're going to pass it an argument. The argument we're going to pass is a sequence of strings. Oh, we have one of those. We have a list. It's called my text. We'll throw that in there. Hit enter. And it looks like it took. Let's go ahead and peek over at our file again. Nothing in there. And the reason is because it hasn't finished with the file yet. The file is still open in Python. We have an open file. We need to close that file before the changes take effect. So we'll use the method here out file dot close and no arguments passed. Okay. Now when we pop that thing open, take a look. I love my bring back. Threw it all together. So. If you will recall from previous videos, we had those formatting characters. That's how you end up getting things like line breaks and other ways to make your text handsome, legible, intelligible, interpretable, all those good things. But that's a very basic look at things. And one other thing to be aware of is that when you have files open, you're going to need to close them before you can do a whole lot with them, especially using other programs. Now, there are ways to ensure that this happens each time more automatically and we'll visit those later in order to have access to those means of opening and closing files smoothly and consistently we're going to have to learn loops and that's going to be the theme for the next video so that's a brief look at how to write a file appreciate you spending some time watching these videos again this is ed for my bring back go ahead and stick with us we'll give you what you need to make things happen <laughs>